Hello, how are you? I'm Hector Perez from Dev School. Welcome to this new video in which I'm going to teach you how to use an extension in Visual Studio that will allow you to optimize your images that are part of your project. Many times we download images to use in our projects and these images turn out to be very heavy or very large. With this tool, you will be able to optimize them to almost half their size in a very simple way. I have created a project in Visual Studio with some images. One image called Very Large Image. We can see the different weights of the images noted on the left side. This image weights 24.4 megabytes. We also have an animation in GIF format that weights 6.24 megabytes. I have also created a folder of images downloaded from the Onsplash site with different images weighting around 24.1 megabytes. Let's install this extension and we will do this by going to the menu called Extensions. We will click on Manage Extensions and in this wizard that appears, we will search for the extension called Image Optimizer. We will filter the results and we have this result called Image Optimizer 64 bits. There are also versions for Visual Studio 2019 or for previous versions if you need to use them in those versions. This version is for Visual Studio 2022. Click on download and we will restart Visual Studio for this to take effect. I'm back in Visual Studio. I have restarted the IDE. The installation of the extension I showed you earlier has been carried out. And before performing the optimization, I want to show you the images I showed you earlier from the Visual Studio Explorer, only this time from the Windows Explorer. Here we see the different files mentioned earlier, each with the respective weights mentioned. The folder weights a total of 24.1 megabytes, as you can see on the screen. Now let's see what happens when we run this tool on the images. First, we have this image that weights a lot, around 30 megabytes. When right clicking on it, a new menu called Image Optimizer appears. This tool offers three options. Optimize for best quality, optimize for best compression, and copy the image as a base64 string. Let's see what happens when selecting the first option, optimize for best quality. When running the tool, the optimization process for the image starts at the bottom. Here we see that it says optimizing one image, and there is also a progress bar showing how much has been processed for the optimization of this image. Let's wait a few seconds while the image is being processed. Upon completion of the processing, it indicates that one image was optimized in 49 seconds and 36.6% of space was saved. What does this mean? Let's go to the Windows Explorer and validate the current weight of this image, which is 19 megabytes, compared to the 29.4 megabytes it had previously. This has significantly reduced the image. Remember that this selected option is to maintain the best possible quality. Secondly, we have a second image called animation.gif, which I'm going to show you. It's this image that you can see on screen, displaying a rather unique animation. However, the GIF format, as it is composed of many images, often has a considerable size. Let's see if we can reduce this animation to a smaller size. Let's select the option called Image Optimizer again and click on Optimize for the best compression. Once again, we'll wait a few seconds for this process to finish. Okay, the process has finished. You can see that the conversion took only 8 seconds, as shown on the screen, 8.16 seconds, and saved 53.1%. This means that the image no longer weights 6.24 megabytes, but now it weights half, only 3 megabytes. We can see that the image quality is still quite good. In fact, it looks very similar to the original image. Lastly, this tool or extension also allows us to optimize a folder of images. On this occasion, I have a set of images in this folder called Unsplash Images, and we're going to look at the Image Optimizer option. We can see the two options we saw earlier. 
Let's click on optimize for the best compression to see how much we can reduce these 24 megabytes of the original folder. Ok, the process was quite fast, taking only 6.19 seconds to process and it saved 38.7% or compressed this folder quite a bit. Right click on the folder, properties and notice that the folder now weights only 14.8 megabytes compared to the original 24. Next, I will show you the latest feature that allows copying from an image the base64 string. I will use this very long image, right click or click on the image optimizer option. I will select this third option called copy base64 data URI to clipboard. Once selected, I will go to a site this site called base64viewer.onrender.com. There are many similar sites that allow pasting a base64 string to see the result on the left side. I paste this string. After a few seconds, we can see the result on the left side. This image is very large and heavy, so it took a while to display the preview from the base64 string. With this, I showed you that it is possible to copy this image in string format to perform different operations when required. It is a good tool that allows us to carry out this task. I hope you liked this video. I invite you to share it, subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video related to technologies in .NET. See you in the next video.